I just wanted to start off first off uh, and thank a couple of folks to, to bring you up to speed on Global Flight. I want to thank the Air Force Research Lab and the technology that they brought out to us and allowed us to license, and uh, to uh, Wright Brothers Institute, who helped us bring that technology out, but also, more importantly, got us a CRADA for the next five years that allows us to continue to work with the Air Force Research Lab and, and have access to uh, the world's best folks working on, on the software with us. So Global Flight is basically a, an incident management tool that we're creating in software that helps that incident commander visualize the incident. We're not talking about sitting up at some state EOC or county EOC. What we're talking about is being able to visualize that incident at the incident scene in that patrol car, in that fire, fire truck, right on the computer in the car. That's our goal with this. How do we do this? Well, there are, are seven critical tasks that we have to do as incident managers when we start. We have to assess the situation, we have to identify the danger zone, then we establish our perimeters, then we request um, uh, staging areas, we request more assets. And what's unique about how we're doing with Global Flight is it's being built by first responders that have had experience in this that know what they need. One of the things we're going to do, and, and I invite anyone that's interested to go up into the back up here, uh, we have the multimodal communication and the uh, Minuteman app up there running so you can see how it works. But what we want to do is, is take this scene here where you see them outside, they're working on handhelds, they're working on, on pieces of paper, and we want to be able to look at this is it. So we want to make this into uh, a technical age where that on-scene commander has the ability to take huge amounts of data right now and be able to process it. So how are we going to do that? Well, we put together a team uh, to develop this. Uh, Jim Gernberg, retired uh, fire captain from Kettering, also was a firefighter in New York City. Uh, he also helped create Ohio Task Force One, which travels all over the country and the world in emergencies for FEMA to uh, help with the rescue and reestablish um, the communities. Myself, I'm a 21-year veteran of the FBI, and 18 of those years I was a SWAT agent, so I know about being in critical incidents, and I know that most critical incidents don't rise up to that level where you're going to open an EOC. It's going to be handled right there on the trunk of a car. Uh, we have Dave Best and Andy Gaznik, who are our engineers, and these guys are doing a, a tremendous job um, taking the technology and putting it into a usable format, and we're getting ready to merge that. So Global Flight, it's semi-automated assistance to the incident commander and the team. What do I mean by this? Well, when you get into a command, everybody's running around, somebody has to be in charge, and you gotta make sure you're understanding everything going on around you. So we put together some, some uh, pieces in the software to assist. This is what it's gonna look like on the MDT in the vehicle. This is our base map, and you can see a, a, a little window dropping down. It looks like a, a, a conversation. That is actually transcription of real-time radio conversation that you're listening to while you're at the scene. Uh, the cell phone was the Minuteman app, and this is what we're doing. It's gonna be initiated by the dispatch. The incident commander will pick it up. He'll set his perimeters. He'll do all these actions that he needs to do to assess that scene. But what's really nice is the command center or the 911 dispatch center is seeing the map as well, knowing where to avoid sending other routine calls or other emergencies through areas they shouldn't get into or they can't get through. This is what we found to be the, the the highlight of our technology, and this is what came out of AFRL, and this is called multimodal communication. It allows you to 3D spatially separate conversations in your head and allows you to listen to three to four, up to eight channels at one time, all simultaneously. And it also has real-time radio transcription that's coming down while you're listening to those conversations. We have the ability with uh, another component that we can bring live video feeds in and geo-reference them on the map as well. And um, we also have the ability to utilize cell phones and smartphones to bring data in as well. We like to think uh, in Global Flight that we're adding by subtracting. So what we're doing is we are actually taking that 
uh, unnecessary traffic, but it's still important, but unnecessary to go over the radio and putting it in through Minuteman or other systems to allow that incident commander to focus on what he needs to focus on. So the bottom line, we're giving the incident commander with the use of MMC and Minuteman and these other uh, portions of, of global flight, the ability to increase their decision making. Minute, or, uh, MMC, the communication will actually increase by about 70% the comprehension of all those conversations going on. This allows that incident commander to make decisions that are gonna save lives and property in a more timely, but most of all in an informed manner. Here's where we are right now. Uh, I mentioned the collaborative work with AFRL through WBI. Um, we are very fortunate to have the world leader in transcription and, and translation software working with us uh, to make this product. Our software is in development, and we are hoping in March of uh, next year to go out with a beta product to some early adopters and start uh, putting this on the market. So we're in the process of uh, finalizing our, our go-to-market plan and our market strategy. Uh, looking for uh, uh, partners to do that with. Uh, Jim Gernberg with the National Center for Medical Readiness is developing our curriculum. And we have our engineering integration going on. We're, we're looking at other partners that can help us with that technical uh, aspect so we can put this product uh, out in March. That's all I have. Thank you.